Hey, so I solved the mystery of the multi-GPU automatic pass-through. <clears throat> so, just to recap, what was happening was the Windows was running on the first slot PCU, but when I would launch the game, it would automatically enable the second slot GPU to become the primary and it was sending the image out the first GPU uh, display port but all the run uh, the entire program was running in the second slot GPU and it was doing it all on its own I wasn't doing what I was doing before with plugging the wires in to activate the program and then unplugging the wires it was just doing it on its own and it crashed my computer and it was weird because when I first enabled it I enabled it by selecting the second GPU as the Windows first choice and that's what turned it on but when I went and I disabled that I switched that back to automatic or even the first slot as the first one it didn't shut it off. It wasn't until my computer crashed that it shut off. And what it turned out to be was, because it happened again, and I got it to stop, and then it happened again. Now I know what it's doing and why it was doing it, which is kind of interesting. So what I had done is I moved my Gen 5 SSD to the lower uh, M2 slots, which on the architecture of the circuit board go through the chipset. And I had my Gen 4 SSD that had my Windows operating system on it up on my top. Uh, M2 slot and that had direct access to the CPU and I had done that intentionally and I had swapped it intentionally because I thought that DirectX 12 being a Windows feature would work better if it wasn't hindered by the chipset of the architecture but what it was actually doing was because I downloaded the game onto the Gen 5 and the Gen 5 was on the lower PC or the lower M2 slot and that ha had on the same side of it on the same side of the chipset the second GPU apparently it was easier for that to direct communicate um with the with the memory on the SSD <clears throat> on the Gen 5 um, and the Gen 5 was prioritized for the it, it, anyway it self selected it but that that's what it was I had the the game downloaded on the SSD that was on the lower uh, M2 slots and when I switched it back to the upper slot so now the game and the fast or uh, the gen 5 ssd is on the upper uh m2 slot so that's directly connected to the cpu um it's now automatically self-selecting the the top um graphics card and in doing so, I'm getting significantly higher frame rates back to where it was, where it's like almost 240. Um, if I have run, it's still like 165 frames at 100% rendering. So it's, but at 70% rendering 2K, it's like 240. And 
it's, you know, you just can't argue with performance. It is what it is. I don't need the pass through if it's slowing me down 30% or more. Um, so that's what it was. The, the memory card, I probably would be better off if everything, or maybe not, um, if everything was on like my operating system and the game were on the same memory card. But in thinking about it, my operating system being on a different memory card as the memory card that's getting the uh, heap uploads from the um, graphics card uh, for, what's that called, the resizable bar, that might... It might be better to divide up that bandwidth because the operating system probably eats up a fair amount of in and out uh, bytes and as does the resizable bar uh, during gameplay. So for all I know, it's better to have two SSDs, uh, one for your operating system, one for the game. But irregardless of that, it is better to have your game on your faster uh, memory card and have that memory card closest to your CPU rather than the memory card that is um, handling your operating system. Um, as it turns out, so that's that's what was self-selecting my my GPU pass pass through. I just thought it was really interesting.